Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we will explore the fundamental skills that you must acquire to create basic presentations within the PowerPoint program. You will learn to create new presentations, open previously created presentations, save presentation changes, and then close those presentations. This particular lesson will acquaint you with the process of opening a presentation. To open a presentation, you must first know where the presentation you want to open is located. This location could be within a folder on your computer, a network folder, a CD-ROM, or perhaps it's located on some other type of removable media. Once you know where the file is located, you can then open it by using the Open Dialog box. You can access this dialog box by clicking the Microsoft Office button and then choosing the Open command. In the Open dialog box that appears, you use the navigation tools to select the location where the file that you want to open is located. Once you know where the file is located, you can then select it from the list of presentation files shown within the Open dialog box. So you should see an icon for the presentation file along with the presentation file's name in the files and folders shown in the Open dialog box. Once you've selected it, just click the Open button in the lower right corner of the Open dialog box to open the file. Alternately, you could also double click on the icon of the file shown within the Open dialog box in order to open the file. Now also note that you can use the Open dialog box to simultaneously open multiple presentations from the same location. So to do this, you still click the Microsoft Office button and then click the Open command. But this time, when you're selecting presentation files to open, if they are not adjacent or not next to each other, then you just click on the first one you want to open, hold down the Control key on your keyboard, and click on any others that you would like to open so that they're selected. If they're adjacent, then you can just click on the first one, hold down Shift on your keyboard, and then click on the last one, and everything in between the two will then be selected. So once you've selected which files to open then, just click the Open button in the lower right corner. That will open all of the highlighted or selected presentation files. Also notice that if you're just trying to open a recently accessed presentation, then you may be able to simply click the Microsoft Office button, and then click on the name of the recently opened file that appears in the list at the right side of the command panel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.